Most traders never take ownership. They jump from strategy to strategy and they never take a step back and ask themselves, am I the problem? All they're always thinking about is it must be the strategy. And the reason as to why is that we've been missold for years and years and years by the industry for you to think that a holy grail exists. And what that does is it pushes you further away from the truth, which is that if you don't have your internal framework figured out, it doesn't matter what strategy you have, you will not win. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about something very important that you need to pay attention to regardless of what strategy, what system you trade. If you aspire to be a seven figure plus trader, then you need to pay attention. Everything that I've been refining, every single thing I've been refining for over 1.5 years is now coming into play. And it's gonna be such a huge compliment to everything that we're doing. It's gonna be an absolute game changer because nothing is different in terms of higher time frame down. It's knowing how to refine in the right areas, which brings me back to everything I'm talking about in this episode. It's knowing what you need to know correctly. And if you don't, you're gonna miss these details. And this is such an important add-on to what we're already doing. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Right guys, we're gonna get into some chart work, some really important details here, and I hope you learned something, so let's dive in. So we're gonna start off with Dollar Swiss. So I've got a few examples here, as you can see these pairs, and I want to explain to you something as to a little bit of a glimpse as to how we trade and why we trade the way that we do. The dangers are with trading is that when you've put a lot of hours in, which most people are quite committed to learning how to trade. Anyway, people that I've met and people that I've taught, but what has been the difference between people that have broken through, become successful and people that haven't? Because I get messages all the time. Some people saying, right, this doesn't work. I haven't achieved anything. And there might be, you know, two or three months in or even sometimes six months to a year. But you can't audit how much work they've done. right? So you don't even know where they are at mentally. And you get someone else who has now trading quarter of a million or just hit six figures and they're scaling up. Which one is correct? Both of them. One has a different mentality. It's as simple as that. So how someone perceives it is very different. You've got to understand, it's not my responsibility to assess the maturity level and the work ethic of every single trader. That is something they have to decide for themselves. But the industry has told you that this should be easy, so you should learn it quickly. So I get it. When you get a bit of friction, it doesn't go right for you the first six months to a year. You start to get upset, and then you think there's something else over there versus looking internally. And I want to give you some examples of this. So here I've got dollar Swiss, right? This was this is an example that someone gave me. And what I've noticed over the, the years, you know, I've coached a lot of people now, so we see re recurring patterns. People that send me their journals, right? Let me have let me have a look at your trades, etc. So someone would send me something like this, right? They would, uh, you can see here on my screen right here. And I'm gonna explain in more detail and you, you'll see as to why this makes sense. So they'll show me a bit of price action like this. I'll just take price back roughly to around here. They'll look at something like that and then tell me, yeah, I just don't think it works because, you know, I was looking for a sell here, which I, I can kind of understand as to why. People in Falcon will understand that. They'll say, right, this is a value area. I'm looking for a sell roughly here. And they'll just look at this channel and say, right, ascending channels don't work because guess what? Price broke out to the upside. They go, yep, don't work not factoring in where is it in price because we wouldn't take that trade in the first place it wasn't actually an entry so again they have a lack of understanding where things are versus looking at the actual bigger picture that this actually makes sense to be moving to the upside because you can see overall we're not looking for sales at this point because the high time frame higher time frame even here just from a weekly perspective is pointing to the upside so that actually breaking out makes a lot of sense so then someone looking for a trade here right from that squeeze which is where they originally was they'd be looking for a sell at that high with a structure that is relevant but just in the wrong area they'll be zoomed in and they'll go right i took a trade here so they don't factor in where the momentum is so you can't just take a structure or a pattern and go yep took that trade didn't work and that is genuinely genuinely hand on heart how people have told me it doesn't work. And then that's crazy to me because that just shows me you know about 10% of what you need to know. So how could you be successful? But that's just one example of that. Now let me show you current price action. So another, we could even force the example here as well. 
let's say that you've seen right so you trade patterns okay so you trade uh, ascending channels descending channels reversals etc fair enough well you could look at something like this and go right well that channel broke above and didn't work right there was there was no rejection there so we would have sold here and then got caught out not at all we didn't sell there there's a big reason as to why we waited for it to go above here break above break back in again these moves you can just go back in old webinars these moves are forecasted weeks sometimes months in advance there's a reason because we have an understanding of structure we're actually looking to see if we get a form of continuation to the downside here right whether it's here or whether it's slightly higher up that remains to be seen however it's the same thing that we're looking at over and over again and what's happened is when people have a lack of understanding and they don't know where something is they won't know how to trade it right it would be same sort of channel right they could force it here and go someone could cherry pick examples and show me that they'll zoom in and go they'll go look right one two three look it didn't work you know it doesn't actually work again lack of understanding where is it within the structure why are you taking the trade there in the first place was there even an entry and if there wasn't why are you taking the trade so what happens is that when you know enough it can look simple but you still not understood the intricacies involved you probably don't have a trading plan it's not black and white you're not confident and you just don't know enough which is fine that's actually okay but don't be so quick to judge not the strategy yourself because that's what you're really saying because think about how ridiculous it actually is to say something doesn't work when you've seen so many other people succeeding and trading full-time and have scaled up their capital so what does that actually mean logically but remember when we're in our own heads we don't think like that all we think is that no no it possibly can't work because you can't see yourself doing it you can't see others doing it so it's a lack of mindset in that point right so here i have is a tennis racket i've used this example before but i want to show you more visually now imagine this is your 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 resource so this is your trading system if you like now two different people can take the same resource and perform differently on the court maybe you've just started learning how to play tennis you've been playing tennis for a while you're going to pick up the racket or Federer or Nadal or Djokovic is going to pick up the racket. It's going to be a very different result. Why is that? Experience, skill set, time in actually playing the sport itself, hours that have been put in. It's the same racket, right? There wouldn't be a special racket that they need to pick up. They could pick up the same ball, the same racket and get a different outcome. So it was never the racket in the first place, was it? It was the player. It was the tennis player. I want you to start to see trading the same way as it's the sport but it's the mental sport. This is a mental performance game. And if you're not mentally equipped, you've not done the hours, you have the same racket, same strategy, and you're gonna get two different results. So when people ask me the question, oh, I just didn't work. No, you didn't work. You didn't work, you didn't put in the work in. The same way, you could use the same racket and get a different outcome. And when you, when you start to think about it like that, it changes your perspective on trading because we understand it in different things. Say for example, someone gives someone a workout plan and they say, right, I was given this workout plan by someone and they said, you know, stick to 2,200 calories. This was your macro split. Go to the gym five days a week and do that. And then someone said, right, um, I only went to the gym twice and I didn't stick to that. You would say, oh, well, no wonder you didn't get results. It would be like someone like that saying, oh, the plan didn't work. No, you didn't work. You didn't, you didn't follow the plan, therefore that's why you haven't got results. It's as simple as that. Same with the racket, same with the system. But in trading, for some strange reason, we disregard all of that and go, well, if I can't make it work, therefore it must not work. We really have to have more of a conversation around that. And that, again, is the way that we think. It's the skepticism, the, the cynicalness inside us, the, the lack of self-awareness that you're not trained from when you're young, and, and included myself, I wasn't as well, to have that level of awareness as to, right, I need to improve, I need to get better, because the resource is there, I just need, need to know how to learn it better. I promise you, if you make this mental shift, however you're trading right now, you will improve. So just quickly guys, if you're enjoying the content that we put out on the channel, make sure that you stay in the loop by commenting, subscribing to the channel, turn the notifications bell on so you're always in the loop of the content that we're pushing out on a regular basis. We appreciate the support and make sure you utilize the resources that we put out. So check all the links in the description. They will help you out massively on your trading journey. Right now, back to the video. Aussie Yen, for example, right now, what have we just been talking about? Expandings, right? So if we go... Yeah, we're on a weekly chart. What can we see? So on the weekly chart, we can see an expanding. On the daily, it's get granular. You can see it clearer. So what would we look for 
on Aussie Yen. One, two, three. Simple as that. Now, where it is in the structure is an important play. Some people will take this structure, for example, and they'll trade it here. They'll trade something like that. Price will break up towards the actual value area and go, yep, see, didn't work. But we wouldn't trade that in the first place. That's just a lack of understanding. So all this really boils down to is that people just didn't know enough. And we see this in so many strategies. People come to us and will say, listen, you know, I, this, is, this is the other one, which is hilarious. People will come to us and say, right, I traded this system, I traded this strategy, I was scammed. And then I'm always like, because it's quite a strong word, right, to say that. I was like, how was you scammed exactly? Right, what did I, uh, did I run away with your money? Did they uh, not give you the content? Did they not deliver on what they said they was going to deliver? Uh, dodgy people, whatever it is. And it's like, no, you know, it's just that, you know, I, I tried it for six months, it just didn't work, didn't work for me. I just, I think it's a scam. Just think about what it's saying. They haven't even accepted. Yeah, but are, are other people doing well? Have, has, have you seen other people do well with it? Yeah, yeah, but I just think it's a scam. It's in their own head, they can't imagine, if they can't see themselves doing it, therefore it must be not correct. And that is how most people are wired, unfortunately. And in this industry as well, right? I get it though, because this is what you've seen for years and years, right? Uh, you're looking at the, the brokers, stop hunts, your experience that you've gone through, signal services, you name it, you've gone through it. I understand why you feel the way that you do. However, if you understand why the statistics are the way that they are, you have to address your own internal mindset. If you do not work in here, then nothing will change. Because the biggest problem is never in a system whether you're asking yourself, oh, does the Falcon strategy work? Well, if someone doesn't have a good mindset, they're gonna tell you no. But someone else who I'm literally speaking to hundreds of them that are on the fund doing well, scaling up their capital, they will tell you yes. Who's right? Right, they're both right. If you don't believe in yourself, fair enough. You're not going to believe anything is good. Forget about Falcon strategy, any other strategy that works and is effective. Before you start blaming that, why haven't you looked at yourself? That's what you've got to ask yourself. If we look at the statistics, 90% of traders fail in a period of time. Why do you think that is? If you if they all had the right mentality and that all these people that haven't found to make it work in the system, why would we have the statistic the way it is? That wouldn't exist otherwise, would it? fundamentally something wrong with the way that we think because we're not programmed in a way to persist further than that we're programmed in a way that we have a certain threshold and what we're willing to go to and once that gets breached or if you've got a timeline set in your head or you see someone else that gets be beginner's luck in a different strategy well then you search for that and that is just the reality but it's why you're still in the same loop honestly i coached people five years ago and they're still back testing honestly it's crazy they're literally still back testing if they would have just stuck to one thing like other people did and that have scaled up a, a hand on heart they would be so much more successful now and that and i don't mean that from a perspective of this was the only way to win or the only way to trade but they had it the reality is they only knew about 80 to 90 percent their trading plan could have been tweaked they needed just a little bit more time maybe just a bit more experience had a few setbacks they threw in the towel that's the reality. And then they, tr then people want validation. They want to convince themselves, no, I definitely made the right choice, right? Because no one wants to look back and go, do you know what? I don't think I gave it my all. Who in their right mind does that? Because they don't want to do that. But that is actually where you grow. If you can actually be humble enough to say, do you know what? I didn't give it my all. I just thought I did at the time, but I didn't because I, I wanted something quick or I wanted to quit my job that I was miserable in. So I thought there was something better out there. That's fine. We can live with that. But pointing the finger does nothing. It does nothing to us. It just does more damage to yourself and actually pushes you away because you actually then start to believe yourself, right? Which is crazy. For those of you that have been, been with me for a while or from the beginning, you remember this. Forecasted. This was forecasted way ahead of time. This cell here. You just go back and see. I didn't have a crystal ball. I just followed structure, right? I'm not a magician. I just followed the repetitive behavior that has been happening for years and years and years and has continued to behave the same. So if we look at this, someone would look at the chart and say, right, if you don't understand, this is a flag, right? So here's the impulse, here's the correction. So you'd see this as a, just a simple kind of continuation pattern on a larger scale. So technically, if you get this trend line, look what happens, it breaks through and breaks back in. And someone will say, yeah, I, I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna evolve my trend lines or I don't know what, it's not the trend line that you're trading here. This is just a, a parallel structure for you to identify what structure is within it. It's the intricacies that are important. Failing to understand 
is that what someone will point out is they'll put a line through this and say, look, you would have been tagged in and tagged out and it would have gone up. Well, firstly, who's taking that on the daily anyway, which is, again, lack of understanding. We wouldn't take that trade on that time frame, And we would be trading at the top, right? We'd be trading at the top from that sell. And then guess what happens? Price breaks up and it gives us a particular pattern, which I've explained so many times before. And I'll just draw it in for you. This is repetitive and I'm going to show you on multiple pairs. We could literally pick out any one. And what you can see is price done what it typically did, which is it broke above. It got people caught on the wrong side again. And what do we do in the form of a one, two, three? We have a clear middle section structure. We break to the downside. We have a head and shoulder pattern. These are all simple things, but in the wrong area, like what I showed you, that ascending channel in the wrong area is garbage. But in the right area, it is correct, right? This is an ascending channel in the right area that is at a value point where people we will be positioned. It's where the real money is about to step into the market. Who do you think is making this momentum? You think it's retail or do you think it's institutions, banks and funds? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Now, since day one, everything that we do is to position ourselves on the right side of that. That is it. And it's as simple as that. And these reoccurring themes have happened since day one. However you're trading right now, if you pushed it just a little bit harder, you could be fractions away from breaking through. You do not realize how close you can be. And I've seen it with so many people recently that could give themselves in their own head, I wouldn't say valid reasons, but they could give themselves reasons to give up because they're putting enough time and enough years now where they're like, right, this haven't worked out for me. They've persisted that little bit longer. They've changed their, their energy because sometimes you get trapped into this kind of energetic bubble where oh, I've not been doing well. So then you kind of don't address the things that you need to do. They've tweaked their routine ever so slightly, started to surround, surround themselves with uh, better people. They've got out of this negative headspace. They've sorted their, their evening routine out a little bit. Just made these subtle little tweaks, kind of come back with a bit of a fresh mind, refocus, look at their goals again. They go back to the basics, right? Because success is really having a high understanding of the basics. They do that again, and then suddenly they break through. And they look back and think, all of this stuff that I'm now doing well with, I knew it all before, but my perspective and my mentality and my energy with all of it had slightly changed. And therefore, results have started to come through. Funny how that works, right? And that's what I want you to all think about. Before you start pointing the finger at anyone, point the finger at yourself first. Because the more that you can do it, I promise you, you have a better mentality and you will increase your chances of actually succeeding in the first place. Trading is simple. I've just gone through a sliver of what we look at in the markets. So I've not even gone into remotely the amount of depth and understanding that you need to know. And the cold hard truth is you need to become unconsciously competent with the strategy because trading is not easy. And if you're not good enough and you think that 90% is enough, no wonder you haven't broken through. You're capable of much more than you think. You just need to increase that threshold of pain. The longer you can actually go with that, you increase your chance of succeeding. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Something for you to think about as well. It all starts in here. And if you can conquer that, you can conquer the charts. <music>